Hey everyone, today I'm going to talk about Android's bedtime mode and do not disturb settings. So for those not familiar with bedtime mode on Android, uh, it's part of the digital wellness suite and it's designed to help re reduce distractions when you sleep. So here it is in the settings, digital wellness, uh, and then in bedtime mode here. So when bedtime mode is on, you can you know silence your phone, dim the wallpaper, change the screen to black and white, you know, and so on. Uh, it does a bit more than this. It can also silence and hide notifications. Uh, you can also set a bedtime routine. So, you know, bedtime mode will turn on between the times that you set, or if you like, it will turn on when you charge the phone. Now, bedtime mode sounds pretty great, you know, until it's not. So let's say you want to customize this. So if you look at, look at the customization down here, if you have Do Not Disturb turn on with bedtime mode, only calls from starred contacts and repeated callers uh, will reach you. But what if you want all calls to reach you? Well, are you going to go and star all your contacts? It's not very practical. What if someone calls you that is not on your contact list, for example? They simply won't be able to reach you. Uh, or let's say you wanted to change how notifications are shown, you know, when you get a, get a notification when bedtime mode is on. You can't change that at all. With bedtime mode enabled, your notifications will simply be silenced. What if you want them not to be silenced? Well, too bad. So how do we get around this? Well, the key is to understand that do not disturb and bedtime mode can be decoupled. So simply turn off do not disturb mode like this here. Uh, and now what we do is we can go back out and go into the notification section, which is here. And then we scroll down and there is do not disturb. So here we can actually set a schedule. So I've set a sleeping schedule here and I've set it so that the start and end times match the start and end times for bedtime mode. And now with this enabled, we can actually change the do not disturb behavior. We can customize it and we can let calls from anyone come through if that's what you want. Uh, we can also go down here and check what happens for notifications. So for me, I prefer no sounds. Obviously I'm asleep, I don't want sounds, but visually I still want to see them. So maybe if I pick up my phone at nighttime, I still want to see that maybe I got a notification and so on. If that's not what you want, that's fine. Go to custom, you can change it to whatever you like. You can have the screen turn on if you like or not. You can have notification dots show up or not. You have full control over what happens with notifications when Do Not Disturb is turned on. So at this point, you might be asking, why bother with bedtime mode? Why not just set a Do Not Disturb uh, and be done with it? Well, Do Not Disturb is great, but bedtime mode actually has something, in my opinion, which is pretty cool. So if we go to bedtime mode here, uh, here, you'll see that it does sleep tracking. But it does more than sleep tracking, it actually does cough and snore tracking, which I think is pretty cool for a phone uh, that's just sitting there by your bedside table. So, you know, if these metrics are something that you want, you kind of have to enable bedtime mode. So now that you understand how bedtime mode and do not disturb can be separated, you can at least get the best out of both features. Uh, I have no idea why Google doesn't just make bedtime mode respect the do not disturb settings that you've set yourself. But maybe that just makes too much sense. Who knows? Anyway, hope this is useful uh, and thanks for watching.